there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. <laughs> in the sinister laboratory of Simon Bar Sinister, sinister experiments were going on. <laughs> this is going to be my greatest invention, the Big Dipper machine. What's it do, boss? Do? Why, this little machine is designed to dry up all the water in the world. Let's see how it works. Dump that bucket of water on the floor. All right. Simon says, dry up. Hey, boss, it didn't dry up. It froze all Look out! This new model of the Big Dipper machine should work. We'll try it on that tub of water. Simon says, dry up. Steam, steam, it's trying to steam. Fire, fire! No, no, you fools, it's not a... Get out of here, you meddlers. There's no fire here. Go, go, go! But Sweet Polly Purebred, Ace TV reporter, stayed behind. I'll bet that Simon Bar Sinister is up to no good. Gee, boss, your machine failed again. Just a few minor adjustments, kid. But I'll have it fixed in no time. And then we'll dry up all the water in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Dry up all the water? I must tell the police about this. Now, with the atomizer adjusted, it should work properly. I'll try it on this other tub of water. Simon says, dry up. Hey, boss, it's working backwards. It's making more water. There's something wrong again. Right in here, officer. They're going to dry up the whole world. All right, off and up in there. What's going on here? Oh, nothing, officer. Nothing at all. Just a leaky faucet. They've already called the plumber. Yeah, but sweet, Polly, I can't arrest a man for having a leaky faucet. But I heard them say that they were going to dry up all the water in the world. Oh, if only Underdog were here. But at that very moment, Underdog had some watery problems of his own. He was fighting a pack of killer whales that had somehow gotten into Lake Winola and were terrorizing the swimmer. I've got the Big Dipper fix this time, Cad. Now try it out on that fishbowl. Simon says, dry up. It worked! Of course it works. Everything I do works. But how does it work? It's simple. The Big Dipper rearranges the atoms of water and sucks them up into this little jar. And I can put the whole Atlantic Ocean into a jar this big. <laughs> oh, I'll get all the water in the world and store it right here in this case. <laughs> People will have to come to me for water, and I'll have them in my power. <laughs> Can the Big Dipper machine do what Simon says? 
can it really dry up the Atlantic Ocean? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear. Fighting the army blue soldiers galore. What can two Indians do? Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Here comes the colonel with his sergeant. Both are roaring and a charging. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Look there, Sergeant. I'm sure it's the Gopher Indians. Begging the Colonel's pardon, that's only an old Indian blanket. We uh, must have scared them off. The machine, Colonel. They left the Indian giver behind. Bully! And look, look, Sergeant. The Indian giver already shows us their position. Gosh, Colonel. It looks like they're fighting each other. Precisely. Now, Sergeant, that's the ideal time for us to capture them. Follow me. What you do to machine? Oh, you fix a machine so it give position of something instead of Indians. <laughs> Whoopie doopy. That sound like fun. Listen to them, Sergeant. They're having a vicious fight. And they're just on the other side of this rock. Begging the Colonel's pardon, but they don't sound like Indians. Shh! No talking. This is the chance we've been waiting for. When I give the signal, we leap up. I'll grab one, and you grab the other. A narrow escape, Sergeant. Those gophers must have gotten away just before we arrived on the scene. But they won't get away again. Look. What is it, Colonel? It's water, Sergeant. Those gopher Indians are trying to escape by the river. But we'll head them off with a shortcut. <laughs> According to the Indian giver, they should be coming around that bend any moment now. Remember the element of surprise, Sergeant. When I give the signal, we dive into the water and overpower them. Gosh, Colonel, maybe we ought to wait to be sure it's them. We are sure, Sergeant. The Indian giver never fails. Now get ready. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Charge! It's a trick, Sergeant, a trick. Those gophers must have released those alligators just before we jumped. What are we going to do, Colonel? Use our army brains, Sergeant. This time we don't attack unless we see the feathers on the Indian gophers. That way we can be sure it's the gopher Indians. Feathers, huh? Well, look at that. Bully, Sergeant. This time we've got them. You can see those Indian feathers clearly. Follow me. According to the Indian giver, those two are sitting right on top of this mountain, Sergeant. Take no chance on them getting away. I know. We leap on them as soon as we come around the bend. And now is the time to... <laughs> The colonel gives that Indian giver back to the Indians, and I hope he and I will be around for our next adventure. Y'all be there for sure. <laughs> Thanks.
Did I tell you how I got this? This hoop? My, Commander, it is quite heavy. Flying over Lost Valley, my motor went out on me. I parachuted into the unknown depths of Lost Valley. As I landed, strange men jumped upon me. Giant of Lost Valley angry. If we give you a sacrifice, Giant no longer be angry. Working feverishly, I freed myself from the ropes, but it was too late. A roaring, howling giant more than 20 stories tall. You must have been terrified. Yes. Looking at the giant's foot, I saw a tremendous thorn in his big toe. And I knew immediately that the giant was howling from pain, not anger. With my great strength, I pulled out the thorn. So happy was the giant that he gently lifted me up and out of Lost Valley. Amazing. But what does the story have to do with the hoop? Oh, oh, you see, the giant was so thankful he gave me this ring from his little finger. I say that is a twist. Quite. Sinister had invented a machine called the Big Dipper, which could dry up all the water in the world. Beautiful, beautiful. It works. <laughs> yeah, but can you get a whole lot of water into those little tiny jars? Yes. Come, we will conduct a few experiments. And now I will do a swan dive. Watch. Simon says, dry up. <laughs> yeah, pool is one thing, but look there. Simon says, dry up. Beautiful. Yeah, but that wasn't a very big pond. This is big enough. Simon says, dry up. Wow! And the whole lake is in that little jar? Every drop. But enough of this fun. We have work to do. We must dry up all the reservoirs. Simon says, dry up! And soon there was no water at all in the great city, and the people became alarmed. I knew this was going to happen, friends. Simon Bar Sinister is drying up all the water supply. We need Underdog. Where are you, Underdog? We need you. But Underdog was still beneath the waters of Lake Winola, fighting the pack of killer whales. Little did he know that Simon was at the shore with the Big Dipper. Simon says, dry up. Where did all the water go? Underdog. Underdog. That's sweet Polly. She will know. No need to fear, Underdog is here. Quickly, Sweet Polly explained the desperate situation. I'll stop him somehow. Where is he now? We don't know. He could be anywhere. He said he was going to dry up all the water. There's no time to look for him. I must fence the water in. And so, Underdog, using his tremendous powers and unbelievable speed, began building high fences around every body of water. But unfortunately, the fences did not stop Simon Bar Sinister. Simon says, dry up! Simon says, dry up! 
<laughs> there we are, Cad. All the water in the world, neatly in bottles. Lake Superior, the Indian Ocean, Lake Michigan, the Mississippi River, the Hudson River, Lake of the Woods, the Croton Reservoir, all the water in the world, except the Atlantic Ocean. Become now, we will go and dry up the Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use, Underdog. Simon has dried up all the water in the world, except the Atlantic Ocean. You've got to stop him before he gets that. Can Underdog stop Simon before he dries up the Atlantic? What will happen if he can't stop him? There's a thrilling time ahead in our next exciting episode. <laughs>